What's up everybody, this is Eric the Tech Preacher. I made a video about the up and coming iPhone 12 is rumored not to have accessories in the box, a power brick uh, and headphones and no dongle. Uh, and a lot of you guys assume that since Apple is pulling everything out of the box and not giving us nothing, no accessories, no nothing in the box, the price of the iPhone 12 may drop. Well, we hearing word that that's not the case. Also, I said in the video, if Apple do it, then other OEMs like in Android will follow suit. Well, we also hear word now that Android phones in 2021 may not come with charges and, and power bricks and stuff like that. Very frustrating. Let me give you my thoughts about this. Sit back and relax, get your popcorn ready and follow me on this journey. Let's go. What's up guys, this is Eric back with another video. So I'm frustrated about this because I knew this was coming. A lot of you guys assume that since Apple's dropping all the accessories in the box of the up and coming iPhone, uh, the price was gonna drop. Well, now we are hearing that the price may not drop. Uh, we hearing, I, I got some articles which I will link down in the description below that Apple may not drop the price of the new iPhones. Matter of fact, the prices of the iPhones may go up by 50 bucks. So not only that you're not gonna get a power brick and headphones and a dongle, you might see a price increase in the next up and coming iPhone. I say this, I say this, and a lot of you guys was calling foul, saying, you know what? If Apple take all the accessories out of the box, the price is gonna drop. Well, ha ha, they might be pulling the fast one on you. And another thing that Apple is gonna do is the trading value is going down. Now, again, I'm gonna link this down in the description below. Apple usually have a good trading value if uh, you trade in your devices. A lot of companies do trade-ins and stuff like that, like you know, uh, AT&T, Verizon, and Sprint, and T-Mobile. Well, the iPhone XS Max value was $500 and it's dropping about $50. So across the board, uh, iPhone XS, it's $370. The iPhone XR is going to be $270. Instead of $300, it's going to be $270 and so forth and so on. So it's a win-win for the OEM. Apple's going to win and the consumer's going to lose. And we accept that because a lot of you guys hit my comment and say, I ain't worried about no charger. I got plenty of them. Apple's going to drop the price on the next iPhone. So I'm cool with that. If they drop the price 50 to $75, I'm cool with that. I don't need the accessories. But high, high, right? You think Apple was gonna do that. And now we're hearing reports that Apple will may not do that. Not a bit of news that's frustrating. That <sighs> Samsung, Samsung is currently discussing ideas uh, to, with related companies hoping to offset the cost of the 5G chips. Uh, nothing seems to be finalized yet, but the report suggests that Samsung may not include a charger in the box with some of its 2021 smartphones. This is what I thought was gonna happen. This is the stuff that, 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 that I'm thinking, we knew this was gonna come. Now Samsung is in discussion of possibly not putting chargers in the box of the up and coming 2021 phones. Now, Android fans, what are you gonna say about that? Oh, I, it's okay. I got chargers. I got fast chargers. I don't need a charger in the box. Now, a lot of you guys may say, well, easy, 5G chips and all this stuff like that. But y'all the ones who said that the phone will be cheaper. Y'all the ones who said that the phone will come out $50, $75 cheaper. So what are the excuses now that since they're going to increase the price on the devices coming in 2020 and 2021? Well, they have to make profit somehow easy. The 5G chips cost so much. They removing all this stuff out of the box so they can offset the cost. But apparently they're not offsetting the cost because if they're gonna remove all the power bricks and charges and stuff out of the box and they're still raising the price, who is the one that's getting shafted? We as a consumer is the one that's taking the brunt of the shafting. Remember, if Apple do it, Android gonna do it. And this is the ultimate frustration. And I know I talked about it in my video. 
And I said it, I said, if Apple do it, Android will follow suit. And now we hearing that Android will follow suit. Not having charging bricks in the box. A lot of y'all guys will see easy. I got chargers. I ain't worried about that. If I want a fast charger, I'm going to buy one. But you got to think about it. Most of your Android devices, most of the Android phones come with ultimate fast chargers in the box. They come with fast chargers in the box. Why? I mean, come on now. 18 watt, 45 watt chargers coming in the box. Now they're going to take those chargers, take them out the box. And guess what? These chargers going to cost almost upper tiers of $50 to $100. That's, that's crazy insane i'm frustrated about this because i knew this was going to happen <sighs> this is eric from easy computer solutions leave your comments down below let me know what you think about apple and samsung and apple and android removing stuff out of the box and charging us more and giving us less <sighs> leave your comments down below see you guys on the next video peace